Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. Well, we had a great question on one of our other videos. It was a text to image on hover, something like we've got here. And they wanted to link the actual image to somewhere. And as you can see, we've got a link there. You can see the little link hand icon. Really easy to do. It's not quite what it seems. Because although that image is clickable, we're not actually clicking on the image. We're clicking on the text that's within that image right there. But I'll show you how to do it. Got to do a little bit of CSS coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put below the video. So I'm going to hit my edit with Elementor button right here. At the moment, I've got a section. It's got three little columns in it. And I'm going to simply put a text module in one of these columns here. It doesn't matter which one. So here's the text editor. I want a bit more text than that because we want to fill it out as much as we can so the link's live everywhere. So I'm going to go to Laura Mipson and grab a bit of dummy text here. And we'll put that in our module. And we'll make the first bit a little heading. We'll just drop that down. I'll make that capital. And we'll make this a heading. There we go, and let's center align everything there. So I'm going to select all, Control A to select all. I'm going to pop it in the center. Okay, so we've got it there. I want to add a bit of padding, just left and right to squish it in a little bit. So let's go to our advanced tab. I'm going to take the chain off because I don't want to do them all at once. I'm going to give it 15 right and 15 left. Obviously, you do it how, however you wish. Okay, that's great. Now, our actual row, our column right here, the dark tab, has got a bit of padding. I want to take that away and use a bit of margin so that the image we use goes directly behind this. So let's go in here. We'll go to Advanced. I'm going to put a zero in the padding. That'll take all that padding away. As you can see, that's shifted a bit. And let's give it a margin of 20 all around. There we go. And what we can do now is add our actual image to the background here. So if we go over to style, here you'll find background type. And for normal, I'll just give it the same color background as we've got going on here. Background type, I'm going to give it classic, which is a color. And I'll give it just a plain white which goes with our white background there. Obviously, if you want a colored background on it, give it whatever color you want. And when we hover over it, I'm going to put an image in there. So I'm going to hit the hover right there. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush. I'm going to add an image. Now we can put in any image that you want. Now we can't see it at the moment. But if I hover over, there you can see it in the background. I want the image to cover so we can see more of the image. So position, I'm going to put it in the center. That's usually where most of the action is and put yours exactly where you want to put yours. Don't want it to repeat. Size wise, I want it to cover. And now when we hover over, we've got a lot more of that image there, which is great. So we're getting half of it done. We're getting our image when we hover over there. But the text is still there and I want the text to disappear. So this is where we have to write a bit of CSS code. And we're going to do a couple of things here. Let's go back to our little text module. And the first thing I want to do is make this all a link because we want to be able to link. The question was how to link the actual image. Like I say, we're not actually linking the image, but it appears as if we are. So I'm going to select the title. I'm going to put a link in. So we can put our little link in here. I'm going to use a hashtag because I haven't got a real link. I'll hit the apply. As you can see, that's disappeared because obviously my links are set to be white in color as default on this site. But we'll change that in a minute with a bit of CSS. And we'll do the same thing for the text right here. I'm going to select the text, put a little link in. I'll use my little hashtag again. 
And with the cog, you can decide to link on site or off site. If you're linking to somebody else's site or off your site, it's best to open it in a new window. It's best practice. If you're linking to your own site, just leave it as it is and hit the apply. Now it looks like it's all disappeared, but it's still there. But we've got our link in there now. OK, let's write a little bit of CSS. What we've got to do, we've got to give this a class. So let's go over to the Advanced tab. I'm going to give it a class. I'm going to call it LNKI for Link Image. Now, if you're using Pro, Elementor Pro, you can put your custom CSS in here. If you're not using Pro and you're using the regular, the free version, you want to go to your dashboard. And down to your appearance and customize and you can write your code in here in additional CSS as you can see I've got a lot in there already just move that out of the way and this is where you'd write it I'm going to write it in my little box down here because I've got pro installed but I'll show you exactly where to put it if you're using the free version too OK, the first thing I want to do is turn that text back to the original color, the one that's disappeared over here. So if we go to our style here, we've got our text color, 7A7A7A. So I'm going to just copy that. We'll go back to our custom CSS box. Now we called this LNKI for link image. So it's Dot, always have to have a dot or a period in front of any class name and L N K I for link image then I'm going to say a for the anchor tag or link and I want to give it a color so I'm going to open and close some curly brackets and I'll give it that color I'll say color whatever that hex was that we just copied I'll paste it in there control V to paste there it is. It's reappeared now, even though it's a link. Great. Well, that's that first thing done. Now what we want to do is I'll copy that class name again. When we're not hovering on it, we want it to be fully visible. So I'm going to paste that class name in. I'm going to open and close some curly brackets. And I'm going to say opacity or see-throughness or transparency one that's fully visible now we're going to create the hover effect so i'm going to go in i'm going to say copy this right here i'm going to paste it down below just after the the eye of lnki with no gaps i'm going to put a colon and then no gap again and the word hover so you've got the class name a colon and then the word hover with no gaps in between I'm going to say opacity zero, which will make it totally invisible. And you can do 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, whatever, and it'll increment the visibility up to whatever you want. So if I hover over now, that disappears. And it doesn't look like our image has, is centered or covering, but we'll change that in a second. That's great. We can also decide how long it takes to do it because right now it's doing it absolutely instantly. So in the regular state, not the hover state, I'm going to add another little code. Like I say, I'll put this code down below. You can use it and do what you want with it. We're going to say transition duration. And it's prompted us there. I'll just put that in. And I'll say 0 0.8 seconds, 0 0.8 seconds, semicolon. And that'll make it a little more gradual. As you can see, the text disappears a little more gradually there. Great, so we've got everything happening pretty much as we want it here. Let's go back into our column, a little dark tab for the column again, and check that image out because it's not displaying the way that I want it to display. As you can see, it says edit column. We want the hover version with the image on there. For some reason it didn't save my settings. So position, I'm going to put it center center. I want it to repeat and size I want to cover there we go that's a bit better all right well we should be good to go let's go down and hit our update 
and we'll hit the little eyeball to preview the changes. And there we go, we've got our text when we hover over, it's got an image and pretty much anywhere we go with that because we've got the text covering it, we can link, we've got our link, we've got a little hand icon there. Now one last thing before I go is I'll show you exactly where to put the CSS. Like I say, mine I put in the custom CSS because I've got the pro version here. Simply write yours in your custom CSS box that I showed you just now. And it'll do exactly the same thing. And just hit the publish and you're good to go. So there you go guys, that's how to create a text to image on hover with a link on the image. Like I say, it's not really on that image, but it pretty much gives you that effect. So I hope you enjoyed this today and found it useful. And I hope this has answered the question that we had. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.